Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to look at two plays from Duke's domination over James Madison. We're going to look at, in particular, Jared McCain and how he had two, I mean, frankly, he had a beautiful game, but two very, very high-level plays and what it brings to Duke's offense. Let's go. The first one is on the very first play of the game. This is actually the one I like the most. There's some really, really high-level nuance points here. Okay, so first off, we get to see the ball getting into Filipowski. So James Madison recognizes this is probably an advantageous for Filipowski, so they are going to send a double. So as of right now, Duke probably doesn't know where exactly the double's coming from. However, Zero, McCain, wants to make sure, wants to make it as difficult as possible for it to come from his defender. So what does he do? He drifts away from the ball. Drifting away from the ball, it makes it so a, if his defender decides to go, Filipowski sees it from a longer distance. B, it makes it harder for his defender to go, period, because he has a longer range to cover between staying home versus going and actually doubling. Okay, so we can say flows back and forth, and eventually one does go once Filipowski bounces. Okay, we saw him drift that way. However, now he's coming back to, why is he coming back to the ball? The reason he's coming back to the ball is because the next rotation is this defender. Okay, so it's no longer this defender that he's trying to avoid, it's this one. So as this pass is coming, he's trying to get as far away from this player while also simply stepping into a shot as an added bonus. But that just makes it so it's that much cleaner of a look as opposed to being here when he shoots the ball versus being here when he shoots the ball. Potentially he wouldn't be able to get a shot off because the defender's two steps closer. Absolutely brilliant basketball and brilliant coaching as well. The second play that represents so much in favor of Duke's offense is what really gives Steph Curry and Klay Thompson the gravity that like creates crazy open shots for Golden State away from the ball is the ability to be a threat so far away from where the actual ball is. So as we see, this ball gets moved around. A zero is the player we're watching. And the ball is all the way over here. This is a flare screen set and zero is moving away from the ball. The reason this is so effective is if you can hit this with efficiency, the defense has to respect your shooting so, so much because you are literally a threat everywhere on the court. As long as there's someone that can screen near you and make it so this player has to be glued to you and this player has to be glued to the screener, this creates so much opportunity for Duke on offense. Absolutely brilliant job by Jared McCain. Hope you have a blessed day.